Welcome, adventurers, to a whole new dimension of Skyrim. Prepare to witness the power of mods as we delve into the immersive world of modding. In this series, we'll be showcasing the most incredible and game-changing mods that will revolutionize your Skyrim experience. Get ready to be blown away. At first, introducing the Bladestaff of Skyrim, a weapon mod inspired by Dragon Age and designed specifically for the MCO moveset. This extraordinary weapon combines the elegance of a staff with the deadly precision of a blade, offering a truly unique combat experience. From the Humble Iron series to the legendary Dragonbone series, the Blade Staff of Skyrim offers a total of 11 distinct variations to suit your style. Each variation is meticulously crafted, providing both visual appeal and exceptional functionality. While the Blade Staffs are not yet integrated into the level lists or found on enemies, you can easily acquire them using the console commands. The second mod I'd like to introduce to you is the ADXP MCO Dragon Age Staff moveset. When equipped alongside the previously mentioned Blade Staff of Skyrim and the additional stone introduced by this mod, players gain access to the ADXP MCO moveset. While it's not mandatory for the creator to use the Blade Staff of Skyrim personally, I believe that using it in conjunction with this mod enhances the experience. For players embodying a battle mage concept, this moveset offers an enjoyable array of abilities. Even if the player themselves doesn't utilize it, having a battle mage follower who can wield this moveset would be equally impressive. The moveset triggers spells related to Fire, Frost, and Shock, showcasing their substantial power. Adjusting the spell's damage through SSE Edit might be necessary to achieve a balanced gameplay experience. One drawback is that enemies don't employ this moveset. It would greatly enhance the mod if the creator could update it and introduce battle mages utilizing the Blade Staff into the Skyrim world, creating a more immersive and engaging mod experience. The third mod I'd like to introduce to you is Zero King's Fluffy Foxes. This mod offers retextures and remeshes for the foxes in Skyrim, drawing inspiration from the Fusa Fusa project and Better Foxes mods. It provides new textures for two variations of white and orange foxes. The mod consists solely of meshes and textures without requiring an ESP file, allowing for easy installation and removal during gameplay without any hassle. The fourth mod I'd like to introduce to you is just a new farmhouse retexture. This mod provides a stunning 4K retexture with parallax for farmhouses, offering a significant improvement over Wrighton's farmhouse retexture. It covers both the exterior and interior of farmhouse buildings, as well as introducing a new lumber texture. You have the option to choose between 1K, 2K, or 4K textures for installation. This mod consists solely of textures, enhancing the visual quality of the farmhouses without making any changes to other aspects of the game. The fifth mod I'd like to introduce to you is Mace Animation MCO Scar. This mod provides a unique moveset for maces inspired by Bloodborne. It includes five light attacks and five power attacks, offering a variety of combat options. The default idle animation for this moveset has the mace positioned on the right shoulder, Therefore, it is recommended to use it in conjunction with Deezer's movement animations, where the weapon is carried on the shoulder. While this moveset is designed specifically for maces, it would have been even better if the overall attack speed were slightly slower. However, thanks to the scar patch included, it is a suitable moveset for NPCs to use as well, ensuring a seamless experience for all. The sixth mod I want to introduce to you is Leviathan Animations 2 Greatsword MCO Moveset. This mod provides an MCO ADXP moveset for greatswords, drawing inspiration from historical European martial arts techniques and stylized to ensure balanced gameplay. The overall animations are smooth and fluid, consisting of a 4-hit combo for normal attacks and a 5-hit combo for power attacks. Additionally, when using the left movement key, right movement key, back movement key, and power attack key in combination, a dedicated moveset is triggered. As these features are also supported by OAR, it supports on and off functions so you can easily turn these features on or off according to your preference. For a seamless transition between attacks and movement, it is recommended to use this mod alongside Greatsword Low Stance, another creation by the same creator. This combination enhances the flow between attacking and maneuvering, providing a more immersive experience. 
The seventh mod to introduce is Photo Mode, created by Power of Three. This mod adds a fully functional photo mode to Skyrim, taking inspiration from later Bethesda games. You can now capture memorable moments with ease. Access photo mode directly from the pause system menu or assign a hotkey through the mod configuration menu. It supports both gamepad and keyboard mouse controls, offering versatility for your preferred input method. Enhance your composition by enabling various grid patterns. This allows you to position your character precisely in the center or at specific angles in desired locations. Modify the field of view in real time to achieve the perfect perspective and conveniently toggle the depth of field on and off. One of the standout features of this mod is the ability to tilt your photos, enabling you to capture vertical screenshots. While humans are generally taller than they are wide, monitors have a wider horizontal display. With photo mode's tilting capability, you can effortlessly capture stunning vertical shots, which can often be more suitable for showcasing the human form. Take control of the in-game time and set the perfect atmosphere for your shots. You can select specific expressions and poses to create the desired mood or convey a particular story. These features make photo mode an essential mod for professional photographers, offering endless creative possibilities. Immerse yourself in the world of Skyrim and unleash your artistic vision with the incredible photo mode mod by Power of Three. Capture breathtaking moments, craft unforgettable narratives, and showcase your creativity like never before. The eighth mod to introduce is Debaser, a remarkable sword created by the talented modder Ophud Gabings. Debaser stands out with its exceptional attention to detail, boasting an intricate green pattern that adorns its blade. The design is incredibly delicate, showcasing the modder's skill in creating a visually stunning weapon. One of the standout features of Debaser is its meticulously crafted hilt. The hilt combines the elegance of leather and the allure of metal, resulting in a visually striking composition. The intricate interplay of these materials creates a mesmerizing effect that sets Debaser apart from other weapons. The hilt of Debaser is further enhanced by a clever design choice, a belt wrapped around its midsection. This small yet significant detail adds a touch of authenticity and realism, making the sword feel even more immersive in the game world. Moving up the hilt, the upper portion exhibits a unique resemblance to wings, adding an artistic and dynamic element to the overall design. The modder's choice to incorporate this feature demonstrates a keen eye for aesthetic appeal and creativity. Crafted from fine wood, the lower section of the hilt showcases captivating curved patterns. This meticulous attention to detail gives the sword a sense of craftsmanship and artistry, further enhancing its overall appeal. Debaser is truly a masterful creation by Oford Gabings. Combining intricate green patterns, a beautifully crafted hilt, and captivating embellishments, it is a must-have mod for those seeking a visually stunning and immersive weapon to enhance their gameplay experience in Skyrim. The ninth mod to introduce is Silvervale Petal Pal, created by El Sopa. This mod replaces the character Talos in Skyrim with the adorable mascot Petal Pal from Silvervale. One of the most striking features of Petal Pal is the eye-catching flower decoration on its head, adding a touch of charm and uniqueness to its appearance. Its overall design showcases a larger head size, complemented by long ears shaped like leaves, adding an element of whimsy. The eyes of Petal Pal are also intricately designed, further enhancing its endearing and cute appeal. While Petal Pal may deviate from the established lore of Skyrim, it manages to harmonize exceptionally well with the natural elements found in the game. The combination of its flower ornamentation and leaf-shaped ears creates a seamless integration with the surrounding environment embodying the essence of nature. This mod offers an opportunity to create a more whimsical and enchanting RPG experience, catering to players who desire a charming and light-hearted atmosphere. Thank you for joining us on this epic modding journey in Skyrim. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel for more fantastic mod showcases. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. Until our next adventure, may your Skyrim be filled with endless possibilities and thrilling mods.